Parker Tavern, as we see it now, was actually built around about 1720 to 1750. The original building on this location was built in 1694. Um, and the land was owned by the Bryant family. Abraham Bryant Sr. G gifted it to his son, Abraham Bryant Jr. Uh, and his family built the one-room uh, house that was originally built in 1694 on this location. Uh, this is the oldest standing structure in Reading. Uh, it is the largest piece, as well as the repository for the collection of the Reading Antiquarian Society, which is the private 501c3 nonprofit that, that operates the tavern. This is a biannual event that we run um, every two years uh, with the Massachusetts 2nd Regiment um, and basically it's just to you know draw attention to the fact that the tavern exists you know a lot of folks uh, even from the area don't know quite what this building is they just see it as the creepy building up on the hill uh, but as you can see you know there's a lot of history and everybody in Massachusetts knows there's a lot of history in New England but uh, experiencing it firsthand is, is sometimes hard to do um, within the confines of the city. So we like to put on these kind of events to draw attention to the tavern um, and highlight some of the historical significances of the area. In 1985, we acquired the cannon, which was in the basement of the Parker Tavern, which was put there by a group which we have the history on it. Uh, the Reading Minutemen took it down to Connecticut, they put a sleeve in it, and we were able to shoot it at many competitions with great results. Uh, we think we run, we run about maybe 50 to 50 of them. It shoots a three pound ball, four ounces of powder, you hear the bang, and you can hear it hit the paper almost in time. Four or five years ago, the state passed laws that you had to have 100 feet in, the can, uh, in front of the cannon, but they put it out 360 degrees. Well, that's 200 feet. You can't even fire a cannon in a baseball, a football field, because they're only 60 feet. So, more or less, it kind of wiped out the cannon popularity due to the fact that they've places to fire them in the cemetery or something like that. You could do it. Uh, they parked the tavern. We promised them we would bring it back here when we took it back in '85, and it's been. They built this nice shed for us, so we're going along with it.